Telling you about brazen bank robberies all across Northeast Ohio, and they are getting more and more violent. And now we've learned in a lot of these cases, the crime started well before the robbers even walked into the bank. When they said that it was being used in bank robberies, I was surprised, and then it made sense. And now we talk about another crime trend we've been noticing, yes, carjackings. Yeah, a lot of carjackings. News 5 learned that these stolen vehicles are really playing a key role in these bank plots. News 5's Mona Kozar Abdi has been investigating the connection. Mona, you spoke with a man who found himself in the middle of it all when his car was stolen. Danita, it was that crime that was linked to a series of other bold acts, including an armed bank robbery that left behind a trail of destruction. I kind of caught him out of the corner of my eye, and he was walking right towards us. On a hot summer day in July, photographer Robert Gladys's shoot at the Italian Gardens came to an abrupt end when he found himself staring down the barrel of a gun. He wanted the keys to my car. Um, then he looked at the girl, and then he took her purse. After handing over his keys, the man then demanded Gladys's camera too, then took off. He got to my car, and he just got into my car and locked the doors as I got to the car. Gladys says he was knocked over as the man blew out of the parking lot, hitting another car on the way. And even the cop said, well, it, you know, probably be easy to find because now this guy's driving around in a, you know, in a wreck. What he didn't know was at the time his 2017 Camry became the getaway car during this bank robbery in Shaker Square. The FBI released these photos of the two armed men they say demanded cash from the teller. A third suspect was waiting outside in Gladys's Camry. It was a similar scenario to this bank robbery in South Euclid, where suspected bank robbers took off in this stolen car. The same month, bank robbers in Fairview led police on a chase in another stolen vehicle. It wouldn't be until September that Gladys would get a call that his car was found. The car is totally smashed from the front. It looks like it just ran into a semi. And the thousands of dollars in equipment he had in his trunk, gone. While Gladys has since replaced much of his equipment, his sense of security, he says, he can't get back. I am looking over my shoulder a lot. Now, police were able to locate um, Gladys's car because the man accused of stealing it, Roy Jackson, was involved in a police chase that later ended in a crash. The other man in the car and another man were both charged in the bank robbery in Shaker Square. Now, as for that third person that was sitting in Gladys's car as a getaway driver, that person has yet to be identified. For now, live in Cleveland, Mona Kosarabdi, News 5.